Probably the most versatile tools we have in our interface are called palettes. Palettes give us quick access to drawing content, properties, and commands. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to incorporate palettes into our interface. Now, there are several palettes available in AutoCAD, and we can find them in the View tab of our ribbon. They're located right here in the Palettes panel, and each of these guys serves a unique purpose. For our example, I'm going to bring up the Properties palette by clicking this icon. In my opinion, this is the most important palette in AutoCAD. This is the one we use to change the properties of our objects. Now that this guy's open on screen, take a look at the little X. I can click this to close the palette. I'm going to do that right now because I want to show you a shortcut to bring up the Properties palette. We don't actually have to go to the View tab. If you hold down Control-1 on your keyboard, it'll bring up the palette no matter what tab you're on. The first thing we notice about palettes is that they're huge. They do take up a lot of screen real estate. We can resize them with our cursor. If I place my cursor on the edge of this guy, the icon changes. If I click and hold on my mouse, I can drag this guy and release, make him a little wider. I can click, hold, and drag, and I can make him narrower. If I click and hold on this vertical mast, I can drag and drop and I can change his position on screen. If I click, hold, and drag close enough to the left or right edge of my monitor, notice the shape changes. At this point, if I release my mouse button, he'll dock on screen. Now think about this. If this guy is docked, this is just one palette. Notice all the other palettes I have available in AutoCAD. We certainly don't have room to have all of these guys docked at the same time. Let me show you a better way that we can manage these so that we can have quite a few of them available and not take up much space at all. What I'm going to do is undock this palette by clicking and holding on the palette name and then I'm going to drag away from the edge of the screen towards the middle and release. And then I'm going to right click on the mast and select anchor left. This collapses my palette to the margin of my interface. So now if I want access to this guy I can simply place my cursor in the margin the palette will open up. Once again, if I need to make it a little bit bigger, I can click and hold on the edge and drag him out. I can do my business, and when I'm finished and move my cursor out, the palette will automatically collapse. Now we can even take it one step further. If I right-click in the margin and select Icons Only, it will collapse the palette down to a single icon in my interface. This means that I can actually have several palettes open and only be taking up a couple of icons on my screen. I'm going to bring up another palette. Another important one is the Design Center palette right here. Let me click the icon to turn on this palette. We would use the Design Center to move content from one AutoCAD drawing to another. There is a keyboard shortcut for this guy as well. If you hit Control-2 on your keyboard, notice that just turned the palette off. Let me hit Control-2 again to bring Design Center back up. I'm going to anchor this guy as well. Let me right click on the mast and I can select anchor left or anchor right depending on which side of the screen I would like him. There we go. I now have the capacity of two palettes on my interface and they are only taking up two icons. If the time comes where you would like to dock one of these palettes, if you'd like it open for an extended length of time, you can simply click this auto hide button and this will dock the palette. If you want to return it to the icon state, we can hover over the palette name and we can click Minimize. Palettes can be the most versatile tool that we have in our interface. They pack the functionality of an entire dialog box beneath a single icon.